Hello and welcome to ProstateVideos.com. I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to talk about who should undergo a prostate biopsy. We have two tests that might suggest the presence of prostate cancer. The digital rectal exam, or DRE, in which a doctor puts a gloved finger into the rectum, trying to feel for any lumps or bumps. And the other thing we have is the PSA, or prostate-specific antigen blood test. Now, both of those can find prostate cancer, and they can find it before a man has any symptoms. Things have changed in recent years. We used to believe that any man who had a PSA above 4 nanograms per ml, per milliliter, would need a prostate biopsy because there was an increased risk of finding cancer. We now realize that there is no such thing as a normal PSA level. Even when the PSA measures only 1, there is about an 8% chance of finding cancer cells if a biopsy is done. So we no longer have a magical PSA to say, yes, you need a biopsy, or no, you don't. Generally, if it's above 2.5 to 3, many doctors will recommend it, even if it's your first PSA level. Other doctors think that that level may not be all that high. And what really matters is if it's changing. In other words, if you had a PSA last year, and it's gone up by a certain amount, then a prostate biopsy might be indicated. And doctors disagree at this time on exactly how much of an increase ought to be important. Some doctors say 0.75 nanograms of an increase in PSA per year for about two years would warrant a biopsy. Other doctors are looking at how fast the PSA doubles. We can measure that. It's called the PSA doubling time. If the PSA is doubling in five years or more, doctors may not rush to do a biopsy. But if the doubling time is three years or less, then a prostate biopsy certainly should be strongly considered. Of course, one of the dilemmas of doing a prostate biopsy is that there may be an, a chance of finding a cancer that would never be life-threatening. But the first question to address is, do you have prostate cancer? And of course, if, you if you're found to have cancer, then there's a long process to figure out whether it's dangerous, whether you need treatment, or whether you don't. But the bottom line here is that both the digital rectal exam and the PSA are used to help diagnose prostate cancer. And a prostate biopsy should be performed if the digital rectal exam shows anything abnormal, if the PSA is probably above 2.5 or 3 nanograms per ml, and if the PSA has been rising in recent years. Hopefully you will find this information helpful. Thank you.